All right, this next question is from uh, Jay Tut in the Cut, <laughs> and he asks, or she. Is that on Instagram? It was on Instagram, yeah. All right. Yep. Uh, how can the transition from being in high school to being in college be easier? Great question. Uh, I would say go in very open-minded. Um, in a lot of cases, people choose to go to the same school as a ton of their friends. Uh, I originally went to the University of Pittsburgh, and I was the third person from my college or my high school to ever go to that school. So I wanted to go to a place that was brand new. I know a lot of kids, 180, 190 from my graduating class went to UMass Amherst, and they all want to go because that's safe. They have their friend group already. Yeah. I really like the fact of going to Pittsburgh because I love sports. Uh, they were really good at football and basketball, and they're not anymore. But <laughs> they used to be. And in the MySpace days. In the <laughs> prior to the MySpace days, oh, Dan Marino wow. days. Wow, that's 20s. <laughs> that was 1800s. Uh, <laughs> the beauty of that is you can go to those schools and really try to figure out who's your friends. And I remember back in my senior, junior year of high school, maybe one of those two, I went for a walk with my dad because he was asking me to. I was being lazy all day, so I had to go with him. <laughs> and he said, you know what's really weird? I, said, I don't know, the fact that we're on a walk? And he said, yeah. <laughs> But what's really weird is the fact that you haven't even gone to college yet, and that means you haven't even met your best friends yet. Mm -hmm. And I said, what do you mean? I have Matt, I have Shane, I have Jamie. He goes, no, those those are your high school friends. You've never met your best friends yet. I thought that was the weirdest statement because you have that comfort zone already. But I went to Pitt, and instantly you're thrown into this group where you think all of them have this inner circle already, but it turns out that most of the time they're all kind of in the same boat as you. True. Your roommate which is super scary at first, but at the same time, so fun to get to know that person because you're going to be literally living on top of them every day. Unless it's old Rob. What? <laughs> old, old Rob. Rob. Go back and for... Can you in the hut? <laughs> Can you tell about? Pizza hut. Free books. <laughs> Book one Wednesday. <laughs> so anyways, um, go in open-minded. Say you have 50 friends already. I don't even know if I have 50 regular friends anyways but if you, if you know 50 people yeah. that are going to your college cool you have that support group but at the same time stay behind a little bit and just try to find your own group because say you're a jock and you always hung out with the jocks but it turns out that you love playing video games well now you can kind of be who you want to be you don't have to stick to with that group that you knew before I don't know and they could have been playing men yeah. <laughs> be that as it may yeah Jocks and well, all right, whatever. I'm thrown <laughs> off now, but okay. still. I don't know. I did the I did the same thing yeah. for my college. No, no one from my high school went to Champlain. And it's terrifying at first. It's it's so you think scary. it's a horrible decision. No, no. And then you go. But I, I was so. also really excited about it. Like one mm-hmm. of the reasons yeah. that I chose Champlain is because no one else was going there because I went. My school was six years long, and I I feel like I've talked about this before, but I felt like I was stuck in a box. Your high school was six years long? It was six years long. It was a, It started in seventh grade and then went to... Oh, yeah. I thought you meant it was a six-year program yeah. Yeah. in high school? Yeah, it was a six-year high school what program. What kind of grammar program were you in? Mrs. <laughs> 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 oh. But so I'd known the same people for six years and yeah. I felt like I had changed... You're going to find out who you are in senior year. Like... A little bit. Um, and then you're going to go to college and you're going to be like, oh, you're that's not who I am. Yeah. You can become and anyone you want. That's what I wanted is I wanted you to be someone entirely different. Persona. Yeah. Like, you, Peter the video became games. what? Uh, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> um, <but laughs> you can be an entirely different person. Um, like, I don't know, High School Musical. Zac Efron's character, Troy Bolton, was the basketball guy. (laughs) No, 100%. He was the basketball guy, and then he went to college, and he wasn't just the basketball guy. This is a valid valid point. (laughs) Exactly. I never saw it. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Thank you. Oh, I think we're in the middle of something. Yeah, unfortunately. You're welcome. Hey, how am I? <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree with that. Is when you're jumping from high school to college, it, it, you're, you, the question is how can the transition from being in high school to being in college be easier? I think it couldn't be easier. Mm-hmm. You have the opportunity to start fresh, as Kara said. So when you when you roll up into college, it's you you already have your group of friends in high school, and you're kind of unfortunately in that in that that fit of you you get typecasted 
and you're 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 kind of you're in that group, which is unfortunate and fortunate at the same time because you're comfortable. But once you get into college, you you get pushed out of your comfort zone. You start meeting people. You start experiencing new things that you've never experienced before. So you have the opportunity to see if you like something or you don't like something, and really in develop who you want to be and what what you like and what you don't like. So I think it's actually college is one of the easiest things in your development it's one that of the you'll experience. Things, yeah. Biggest things in your development. Yeah. I, the, your four years in college are going to develop you more than anything in your life, I believe. And that uh, is very true to myself, especially with the friends that I have now. A lot of them are the core college group, as John mentioned. You know, your father on the walk. Mm -hmm. stir frying. He was yeah. my high school friend. <laughs> um, yeah. I also, um, when I went to college, I had friends for the first two years that I don't talk to any. I talked to my roommate and um, one girl that I knew, but I was best friends with this group of guys, and um, we just stopped talking. I got new friends when I went to Ireland, and it wasn't like I didn't want to be with their friends. They kind of didn't want to be my friends. Did they not accept your new accent? Huh? Did they not accept your new no, accent? No, they like, wanted to drink in the dorms, and I wasn't cool with, with it. <laughs> So, yeah, I know. Just like yeah. even, like Tyler said, I don't think the transition can be easier. I mean, you're looking at, like, it, yeah, it is a scary you're thing. You're nervous over nothing. Yeah, I think it is It is a nerve-wracking thing. It is extremely frightening to go from being in high school to being in college. But I think if you, like John said, if you go into it with an open mind, and honestly, if I was socially anxious in high school, so it was really mm -hmm. scary for me to, like, start talking to people just randomly and be like, hey, how are you? And, like, things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't say it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> but if you just, you know, if you start talking to people, and that's what makes it easier is kind of overcoming. It's not easy overcoming that fear to, like, go over and be like, hey, I see you're sitting alone at lunch. I am also going to be sitting alone. Do you mind if we sit together? To be fair, though, is uh, the colleges will do a ton of icebreakers, yeah. too. And so you two usually weeks. get there, what, what, yeah, that's true. The, you get there, like, what, two weeks before? Yeah. And so two weeks is only freshmen. Mm -hmm. and that's in some schools. Yeah. Yeah, ours was, I think, three days. It was, was, three days. It was a week. Mine was two I days. missed mine completely, but, well, that's on a different podcast. Mine Tyler, was three days long. But <laughs> Tyler would have been at his, and it would have been three days long because it's the same school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but you, you'll have those experiences where you get to meet people beforehand, and it's strictly yeah. your class. So everybody in the class is in the exact same boat you are. Yeah. So they're, you know, they're, they're coming from different places, but they're having the exact same experience of all my friends are gone, I don't yeah. really know the crowd that I fit in with, and, and what, what jives with me, so you end up, what jives? <laughs> you end up sitting down and trying to figure out okay, what, what again, what do I like, what don't I like, what what group do I fit yeah. in with? So, yeah, I think it's, it's one of the most fun times of your life. You get to just figure out what you, what you want to do and what you don't want to do. Well, it's crazy, because when you think about it, like, most people who like, they went to high school with the people they've gone to, like, middle school, yeah. elementary school. So you probably had, like, the same group of friends since you were very Three. young. And you haven't had, like, so you haven't really up. had to make new yeah. friends because mm -hmm. you have, like, a group of friends. You might have met a few people, but you've never had to, like, go out there by yourself and, like, actually interact and, yeah. like, get to know someone without any knowledge of them before. So college is, like, a great uh, way to, like, get used yeah. to meeting new people and learning that life lesson of how do I, like you said, go up to someone and be like, hey, how yeah. are you? <laughs> like, it, it can be very yeah. intimidating, but everybody, freshman year is in the same boat where yeah. they know, like, they may know one or two people, but everybody wants to get yeah. to know new people, and everybody wants to, like, find a yeah. group of friends, so it's exciting. I, I remember during orientation, I, this came to mind because you said we're all in the same boat. Mm -hmm. We were literally on, on the boat. same boat. We uh, were I, on a boat. <laughs> I did show up for the last time. <laughs> They were, there was I a was boat. On the boat. There was a boat, and they had like they had like blackjack, and it was like it wasn't real gambling and all that. But they had they had a bunch of cool stuff, and there was like I a dance my floor. Life. <laughs> and there was a I'll dance floor. Tr Trophy. <laughs> and I started dancing, and this other girl yes. started dancing, and everyone else was a wallflower except me, this other girl, and like a like group of like you know the circles. Um, <laughs> was that other girl Tyler? Because that sounds like something he would do. It was basically the younger version of Tyler. It was a girl. And but like I, it was dark. We like didn't talk. We introduced you, uh, um, each other, but like I saw her on campus, and we were best, best friends, friends. But I had, like classes with her, and like three years later, she's like, "Oh my gosh, I remember you from orientation." Mm -hmm. um, so, so I guess it's super easy to make friends and just. 
doing what you love and all that stuff. Because, like I said, I didn't talk to her more than, like, hey, how's it going? Um, and, like, the next few weeks, she was like, hey, what's up? Whenever we passed each other on campus, so. I remember for my orientation, I had my roommate at that time because they would have, Pitt was so big, they would have a bunch of students go one week, then the next week a bunch of students would go, and then a bunch of students would go, and then at the end they would all come together. Mm -hmm. So I went to an earlier one, and I had a different roommate than the one I was going to live with. I remember we, I was talking to him, and then he was talking to someone else who was actually going to be his real roommate. And we all got to talking through each other. And it turns it's out we... The uh, it was you and Awake. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we uh, all got to talk, and we realized we each like to play basketball. And I remember we then went to the head of orientation and said, hey, I know that tonight's movie night or something weird like that, but can we go play basketball? And the lady was like, absolutely you can. So she got us all basketball. Absolutely and not. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you're going to you're gonna bond, it must be doing what we say. Well, we had to play basketball in front of the whole freshman body. And, uh, wow. So we were slam dunking on fools. I was maxing and relaxing everywhere. <laughs> it was great because even after that, we all stayed together. After we all left, and then we all got in, and we're like, oh, we play basketball together during orientation. That's yeah. awesome. Um, but kind of changing the topic a little bit. So those little connections. Little connections. Yeah. I think we're talking about it from one side, but we're totally missing out on the if you're close to your parents part. Because I'm That's super true. close to my parents. Yeah, yeah. Fam family, friends. Yeah. I love my family, but I was also I'm not sad, sad to go to college. Because I've always been, they, they were a little sad. That's a tough time. When you're moving and you're going, you're like, all right, I'm here, I'll see you later. Like, yeah. <laughs> my dad's like, peace out, dude. Yeah. My parents had already dealt with my brother. They're like, do you need us mm. to stick around? I'm like, no, you can that leave. Was the first. Like, you can go home. So my parents were sad. Luckily, they waited to cry until they got back in the car so yep. I didn't see it. Um, but it is sad after a while because... Were there tinted windows? <laughs> was it you and awake? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Tyler's every significant person in the world. Yeah. Oh, well, we've talked about this. I know. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so it's just tough leaving your family sometimes, but you have to know that once you graduate college, you can go live in their basement if you want to, like some other people. What's up? I don't know who is I live on the second floor, <laughs> but not the basement. You, can, you go back eventually. You go back every other week if you want to. Yeah. True. So it's not like, even if you live in California and you go to school in New York, you're going to see them at Thanksgiving. They're going to come fly to you. You're going to see them pretty often, so don't feel like and it's gonna they're going to fly by. And not when you start to Thanksgiving. Yeah. That seems like it's a long flies time. It flies by. by. And the whole reason you get nervous first because you feel like you're alone until you start yeah. talking to people, then the days start flying by. And yeah. I remember my parents would send me, my dad, my grandmother, they'd send me emails like every week that was like, Parent update number one for college. Oh, anyway, oh, make sure you do well. All right, you send me an email. Let me, let me, let me ask, ask you a very important question. You already know the answer. No, no, no. My, my father is not technically a kid. <laughs> so when he what? sends he emails. Saw my ceiling. <laughs> it's going to crash. <laughs> when he sends me emails, it's all caps. <laughs> so he's like, hey, how are you? <laughs> well, let's just clarify, let's clarify, let's clarify the fact that your dad was having a stroke or something. He said it. Hey, text me whenever you can. Oh, and it was just so nonchalant like that. So you have yeah, a weird relationship. Yeah, that actually happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so was it, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a stroke, stroke, but he was getting his um, gall bladder or something. Uh, no, he had uh, his appendix was about to burst, and so no, so nonchalant. Though. Yeah, he he sends me a text message in the morning. It's about seven a.m. already up, and it says, "Hey, text me when you get a chance." So I call him. He says, hey, I don't want you to be freaked out or anything. I'm in the hospital. We're like to go into surgery. Go, what? I'll be right there. That's a typical day. Yeah. You're doing the same thing with Bernie. And uh, Bernie's a doc. Fact. Bernie never wrote a But I used to get those emails every week where I was like, make sure you're eating a nutritious meal every day. Make sure you're going to class and stuff like that. I love you, Dad. I was like, ah, whatever. But eventually those... All yeah, you realize as you get older that those are their ways of checking in on them, making sure you're not dead, uh, making sure your appendix isn't going to explode. <laughs> that so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on off of that. Um, I, my, my best friend, my best friend, I've known her since she was born. Literally, it's been 24 years. And um, Were you we know would. She was born? No, I was not. But Are she was. I'm only a year older than her. <laughs> But, but she lives, she's always lived two houses away from me, and except for when we went to college, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> but we would write letters to each other, and that, that really helped with the transition, too. Yeah, because yeah. it's nice to get mail. So, so I mean, if your dad isn't very technically challenged, 
<laughs> he, no, he, is he, he, actually, he actually <laughs> writes in caps, caps too. <laughs> so <laughs> doesn't he speak in caps? <laughs> no. So he doesn't know what lowercase is. Yeah. yeah. His world is not lowercase. Yeah. <laughs> That looks great. Oh, it is. Yeah, so... It's so, going to be three times bigger. So that's fun. And then you get mail. I love getting mail. Don't forget Skyping, too. Yep, Skyping's a huge thing. I guess... Okay. FaceTime. FaceTime, 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 Skype, Google Hangouts, yeah. Facebook has a thing. Google Hangouts is dying. Oh, it is? Yeah, oh, I love Google Hangouts. Yeah. Um, MySpace coming back. All right. Yes! yes. MySpace. MySpace. No, I'm called MySpace. It's called MySpace, you know? MySpace. Um, so yeah, video chatting is a huge thing. When I was in um, Ireland, I would video chat different people throughout the week, and it was great. It was, it was always super late at one of our places. It would be like at 2 o'clock in the morning. I remember um, I missed Thanksgiving that year. That's the only year I missed Thanksgiving with my you family. Huh? You already <laughs> No. That's a throwback to uh, six months ago. <laughs> but uh, it was great, yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, you can FaceTime your dog. I did that. I, I tried. Yeah, you talked yeah. about Your dog had nothing to do with it, right? He did not like the camera. You know who else wouldn't like that? Bernie. That dog right there. <laughs> I don't think he'd care right now. That's how no. camera shy he is right it's now. He always has to do on this podcast. Yeah, it's too hot. <laughs>